Hey everybody. Let's play some Genshin Impact. Alright, so I have now hooked up a gamepad. Um, I was playing with a mouse and keyboard the first time, and it's fine, but I much prefer a game plaid, uh, pad, and I'm going to see how this goes. It already feels more immersive and intuitive to me to do it this way. Um, let's see. There's the jump. There's the fire. There's sprint. Alright, just figuring things out. Uh-oh, here's some enemies. We've got some issues. What are we going to do? Alright. We're going this way. Uh, let's see, so I can aim. And I, I'll tell you one thing. Um, I was actually able to invert my Y-axis uh, using the controller, but not the mouse. So I'm sure they'll add that at some point, but... Uh, or maybe I was just not clever enough to figure out where you could do that with the mouse. But... It's a huge difference for me. I'm one of those people who... I just... I have to invert the Y-axis. It's... It's a habit I picked up a long time ago playing fl uh, flight simulators, and I just can't shake. Most games let you do it. Though I've gotta say, you surprised me a little with your moves there. What moves? Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? I didn't see any backup. Uh, barely broke a sweat because I didn't see my character fighting. Now that you mention it, how is it the hilly trails ended up here? Yeah. These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camps so close to cities like this. Nice observation, Paimon. Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. Mm. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, Storm the Terror have been destroyed and the local market has been affected as well. Mm. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries. So the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. I see. The Knights of Favonius sound awesome, but they don't seem to confer much armor on their knights. I guess she uses a bow, so that makes sense, sort of, but her shorts could be a bit longer, most probably. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helps make the area a little bit safer. Hmm. Come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. Yes, Amber, I will go to the city, although there is a treasure chest I want to open. All right, so now I'm... Oh, okay. I want to go back to being me. Maybe she just meant, like... I did a good job because you can freely switch between the characters. Got a carrot. Oh man, breaking these boxes is fun. Now you're talking. Exquisite chest. We got a tail feather and adventurer's experience. Um, I'm just going to pick it up. Oh, we got a whole bunch of stuff. Hold the shortcut wheel to access the character screen. Oh, nice. Um, equip artifacts. Yeah, do that. Artifacts? Ooh, I got an artifact? I don't even know what that means, but do it. Oh, that's right. Okay. If you're using the controller like I am, um, at least on my setup, X is cancel and circle is confirm. Um, some early PlayStation 1 Japanese games would do that. I don't know if that's the norm in Japan. It throws me sometimes. I'll get used to it. All right. Um, oh, they want me to level up by using these artifacts, I guess. Okay. Um, I'm just going to use as many as I can. Confirm. Level 17. Boom. Now, do I need to level up my buddy? Or is she... Um... Oh, I see. You push square to go into this. No? I do need to level up my body. Oh, my gosh. There's my details. Oh, this is nice to get a bunch of stats. Um, 
here we go. Artifacts. Okay. Um, confirm. Uh, return. Uh, artifact details. Return. Ooh, I'm not understanding. Here we go. No, I pushed the wrong thing. All right. Um, this one has a exclamation point, so try this one. This is called Adventurer's Tail Feather, and I can put this artifact here, and... Um, oh, wow, there's like a set bonus and everything. Right now, the Plume of Death just gives me eight attack, which is great. I'll equip that for sure. Um, but if I have a set bonus, I get a thousand hit points. And then a four set piece gives me like health regeneration. Interesting. Wow. Cool. Let's enhance it. Um, auto add. No consumables found. All right. Can enhance it. Um, okay. Perfect. Perfect. I'm going to actually go back into that screen. Um, and... Oh, okay. I want to see if I need to level her up separately. Yeah, she's like level one. Poor Amber. That's why I was having trouble with these things. Um, yeah, level her up as much as we can. Um, oh, we don't have any stuff. I used it all on my other person. That was really greedy of me. Um, I apologize, Amber. I'm going to have to just not use you for a bit. Um, notices, uh, events, new event, sparkling steps, boosted drop rate for Klee and others. Okay, back. Okay, back. All right. I just want to clear off. Here it is. Catch the wind. Event details. Catch the wind has begun. Take part to obtain great rewards and unlock the Gnostic hymn or the Gnostic chorus. Um, to further obtain intertwined fate and designated four-star weapon. Oh, boy. Okay, there's a lot of information here, and that's fantastic. Um, and it looks great. The graphics in the game look terrific. Sometimes I get put off in games like this when there's just like 4,000 different notices and I have no idea what's going on and it's very hard to sort through it. This game just launched and like, I guess maybe there was a lot of pre-launch stuff, but there's a bajillion things already happening in terms of game and event. Um, but whatever, I'll just ignore it until I get better. Um, edit birthday? Why would I want to do that? Um, oh, I get to pick my own birthday? Okay. Um, sure. Yeah, we'll be born 7-7. I don't know, I'm just making that up. Confirm it. Confirm it. All right. Now. There we go. So I'm playing on PC at the moment. And I don't know if... Um, this game looks as good on mobile and if you can just freely switch between platforms and then if it's all cross platform play now these guys are rank seven when i'm him but what if i'm her still the same okay it just goes off maybe your adventurer rank to determine their level or maybe it's the map area either way um uh okay Oh boy. I didn't hit them. I'm just going to wait for my spell to cool down. Don't worry, guys. Nothing is about to happen. I'm not interested in that chest at all. <laughs> that was sweet. All right. Nice. I'm just fighting stuff. I don't know what this guy's digging in the ground for. Windblade. Got him. Nice. A damaged mask. We'll check it out. I've set the area on fire. I do feel bad about that. 
common chest. Wanderer's advice. I don't know if that's an experience paper. Um, oh, a thousand experience. Great. So now I can um, level up Amber a bit. It's one of those things where it's like, I don't know how long she's going to be in the party. Is she just escorting me to the town? And then if I funnel experience into her, am I going to regret it? Um, but it's so early that I don't really have any regrets. And he is... Uh, my main character here is so over-leveled compared to her that... Um, elemental reactions. L1 plus up. When Animo meets certain other elements, it can trigger Swirl. Swirl can deal... Elemental damage affect beings and generate further elemental reactions. Alright. Return. Primo gem. Man, I mean, this game... I'm not that far. But it feels like... You know... There's so much love in... The music, the atmosphere, and the presentation almost feels like a triple-A title, you know? Um, and yet it's free. It is, that is just unreal. Now, I might hit some kind of paywall at some point. And actually, I think I had a buddy who was telling me that people have spent like $10,000 or something acquiring items in this game. Um... And, you know, I know that's just probably whale insanity, but if if I get to a point where it feels like I have to pay, um, I'll evaluate it there. I mean, generally I like to play things free to play. Sometimes, if it's a game where I feel like, you know, it's so good and I am going to play it, I can justify buying some kind of, like, starter pack or something like that that is almost like I'm buying an actual game and I do that one time now these guys are 10th level but is that a statue of the seven or is that just some kind of like blue floaty gem thing I'm gonna go see what that is I, I mean I feel like I should easily be able to take out dudes who are level 10 considering I'm 17th level now my gear might not be up to snuff I'm doing okay. I have a lot of health. Yeah, we got him. Amber has, like, down arrows next to her. I don't know what that means. Like, she can do something? She can, yeah, she can let it rain. Maybe she builds up a special attack, like, while she's not the active character or something? I don't know. But there's that thing up there. I want to get that. So let's, um, climb. Let's head back to the statue of the seven at Windrise and offer it to the gods. I will. Well, you should come with me. Paimon will tell you about the rest later. All right, thanks, Paimon. Wow, look at that mountain over there. Now, I know I'm not supposed to be doing this. I'm supposed to actually do the quest, but I can't help but just explore. All right, so it appears that my health does not regenerate um, combat knowledge. What is this? Wooden shield. Yeah, he had a shield. Wards off attacks using a wooden shield, which is comprised of dendro. Maybe there's a way to set it on fire. I bet there is. I haven't met that statue yet. Next. Um, use an elemental burst. Note, using an elemental burst consumes all of that character's energy. That must be what she had, an elemental burst. Oh, you know what? And I think that actually Amber has fire magic. Go, go, Baron Bunny. Now, I don't know what... I just tried to use her magic, and she threw this thing. Maybe because she's a ranged... Oh my god, it exploded. Maybe because she's a ranged attacker, it's like a decoy that attracts the enemies so she can get distance. Is that what this is? Placing elemental skills. Some elemental skills produce different effects depending on whether you press or hold them. Okay. Yeah, I just pressed it. Maybe I should try holding it. Yeah, so I can like get it further if I hold it. And then I throw it. And then maybe the enemies are lured in to attack it. I'm going to have to test that thing. It looks amazing, by the way. And then it explodes and does damage even to me. Um, I'm going to go into my 
Well, I'm going to hold this. Is there a quick way to, like, eat from this menu? All right. Did we get an achievement? Wonders of the world through the pass. Knock a pyro slime out of the hands of a hilly churl grenadier. Oh, my goodness. Yes, gracious. Well, that was random that we got that, but we'll claim it. And I got five primo gems. Um, a primordial crystalline gem that's beyond the mundane world. Shines with the condensed hopes and dreams of universes that once were. Wow. That's an amazing way to shine. I don't know if I could describe or understand that, but that's pretty profound. Um, seems like a really nice thing to have. The universes that once were and their shine in my pocket. All right. Um, let's just get out of this screen and go back. All right. So um, he has his ultimate ability all charged up. And what I want to do is actually, um, no, I'm trying to remember how to open up the map with the controller. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I can just do it here, I'm sure. And I want to teleport to, um, this statue of the seven to give it this blue thingamabob that I found. That's very, the precise technical term, by the way, thingamabob. All right, um, Statue of the Seven. Hello, Statue of the Seven. Um, I want to get the statue's blessing. And I can get um, auto-recover when nearby 50%. Um, okay. I mean, that's good, but I thought maybe I could, like, uh, use the item that I had. I'm going to check this out. Inventory. Oh, we got a new bow. Hunter's bow. Oh, no, she's using that. Never mind. Not a new bow. Um, I want to... I found this blue thing. And... Here it is. Offer it to the statue and help reinstate the power it has lost over the years. Alright. Um, so this is what he, they were saying to do, was to like offer this to the statue, but I don't quite understand how to do that. Um, I talked to it, but then it's just like... The only option is to get the blessing. Auto recover when nearby. Like, why would I adjust this to be anything less than 100% or 50%? Maybe it takes less of this restorative power. Um, all right, I restore it a little bit. Oh, I see. All right. Um... All right, we restored everybody's health, I guess. That's cool. Um, hmm. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Can I... Can I talk to... Um, oh, character selection. What does this mean? New. Yeah, I see her. She's got her thing. Um... Actually, let me go into her. Can I level you up now? Profile. What does this mean? Voiceover. Outrider Amber reporting for duty. Just morning. Wanna go on a jog? Oh boy, what? I need to listen to every single thing. Um No, that's fine. Can I level you up? Yeah, we need to level you up pretty badly. So let me just get you up as much as we can. That's nice. There you go. Um. Mm. All right, let me let me leave, and 
quests. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to select this quest. And I did go to the Statue of the Seven. So I'm going to see if anything different happens now that I actually have this quest selected. Oh, well, he wants me to go to a different statue. So maybe there was another statue of the Seven. Yeah, there there is another statue. Okay. I didn't realize that. Elemental reactions. Um, about Hydro. Wet environments and hydro attacks can cause beings to become affected by hydro. When hydro meets other elements, it often triggers an elemental reaction. Okay. Wet environments and hydro attacks can cause beings to become affected by hydro. Um, it's the same text. It's just a different picture of I'm on land and I'm wet. I guess. I don't know. I did get something for apparently just reading that. All right, I'm running. Whoa, this is really far away. Um, let me look at the map. And see if I can teleport anywhere nearer where she wants me to go. Oh, she wants me to go way down here. Yeah, okay, we need to teleport to this one then. It's interesting that I couldn't interact with the other statue of the seven, that it has to be this one. I wonder why that's the case, but whatever. There it is, way over there. Alright, I have fallen down. What is this? Look at this thing. Glowing door. Temple of the Falcon. Oh, I didn't think I could just walk inside here. Um, recommended party level 20. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll come back to that. Not quite there yet. I need to see if I can even get more people in the party, first of all. Alright, let's run. Wind rise. Here we go. What is this? Just a broken pillar? Alright, that's fine. Uh-oh. Somebody came out. Oh, it's baddies. Alright. Hi, baddies. They're immune to that, but the explosion takes them down. I wonder if Amber is getting experience when she's not selected. I'm actually going to check that out. I'm going to go into character. And I'm going to go look at Amber. And I'm going to check her details. And she has 372 experience. So I'm going to just go kill something. I could have got that butterfly. That's all right. I'm going to go take out these dudes over here. Boom. Oh, boy. That was my special, like, uber attack. And, yeah, we killed every single one of them. And we get the treasure chest. Traveling Doctor's Handkerchief and the Adventurer's Experience. Terrific. And we can have whatever they're eating. Um, I'm going to cook some chicken mushroom skewer. Insufficient ingredients. Uh, it looks like it's all grayed out. All right. What about vegetables? Can I cook any? No, no. I, I, I got to get out of here. I can't, I can't make anything. But anyway, let me do some science. And so let me go back to characters. And details. 372. Yeah, she got nothing. But there's a new artifact that I can equip. Let me see what this is. Artifact details. It's a crown artifact. So let's switch over to this. And, oops. Confirm. I can put on this traveling doctor. And it would give me defense 5.2%. Increases incoming healing by 20%. Well, I'm going to give it to my dude. He's my main attacker at the moment. And we've got it equipped. And let's get out of here. Alright, and let me go over to... 
Oh boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not mean to do this. Yeah. Um, anyway, leave this. Alright, my adventurer rank is three. World level. The world level will increase along with your adventure rank, granting you more bountiful treasures from your adventures and from leyline blossoms, but naturally the opponents you will encounter also grow stronger. Oh, okay. Well, I don't want to raise the world level right now. I'm, you know, only first level, so. Let me go back in here, though. I do want to see her and just see if I can level her up. I can. Um, let's give you everything that we can. Let me get you to fourth level here. That's great. All right. Okay. Um, let's go check out this statue. Oh, she went up to level seven? Nice. Um, I don't know if there's inventory space or not. I'm just going to pick up everything. Wind wheel aster. Cool. This looks like a different... Statue of the seven. Like a fire god, Let's not the, the pyro. The Let's make an offering indeed. Hello, Statue of the Seven. The world opens itself before those with noble hearts. Well, I got a noble heart. And we release some more map area, which is terrific. Um, check rewards. Uh, doesn't appear that there is anything to do there with that. But then, what do you have to say, Statue of the Seven? Oh, no, never mind. Maybe you're not Pyro. You're blue now. Um, worship the statue. Sure. Um... Level 1. If I do this, I will get 7 Stamina, 80 Adventurer XP, 10 Primo Gems, and 5 Animo Sigils. Man, is that just a boost to my overall stamina? That's terrific. Um, offer this. Yeah, my max stamina did go up. I don't know if that applies to both characters or the character that was selected when I did this, but either way, that's great. I love being able to run. And I can level this one the the up even more to get Mondstadt, people call them animaculi. animaculi. They can be fitted into the statue's eyes. Cool. Wow. So adventurer Some rank going up. The statue's eyes originally had gems that were taken by swallows, but animaculi never oh. had a physical form from the start. This is another one of those things to level up the uh people with visions collect them to offer to the statues as blessings. I got another animaculi. Unlike others with powers, you don't have a vision. But the rules of this world don't apply to you anyway, so keep offering animaculi and maybe you'll receive more plus. Man, I am terrible with her. Um, okay. Got him. Uh-oh, he's back. Vaporized. So she's getting character XP as I use her. There's a baddie right here. Or what is this thing? It keeps hiding from me. Um, elemental reactions. What you got? Vaporize. Vaporize itself does not inflict damage. However, the pyro or hydro attack that triggers vaporize deals increased damage. Um, okay. I love how you get, like, primo jams. Or you get something just for viewing the tutorials. All right. Thank you. Why not, right? This game is really cool. It is huge. Goodness gracious. All right. Fantastic. Let's pick some flowers. And I'm going to switch over to my other dude. I did get the... Uh, let's see what happens if I go offer this. Maybe the other statue I just couldn't level up. And it's only this one that you can like actually level up. Which is why I was unable to do the quest before. Yeah. Um, 
So I'm going to offer this. I don't think it's going to work because you need two. But I can get it halfway there. I'm just going to see if animunculus show up on the map. So here is um, a teleporter. What is this? Temple of the Falcon. Okay. Shows you all the rewards you get there. We're not ready for it. Thousand Winds Temple. Star Snatch Cliff. And it looks like this uh, line drawn around represents the you know initial area that I can go into. There's some stuff up here, too. I'm going to work over my, my way over to this place. I don't know if I can set a marker. Interact to activate waypoint. I can't. It doesn't look like I, I can put like a pin or a sticky on this. Replenish original resin. resin. Spend 50 Prima Gems to replenish 60 original resin. I don't know what original resin is. Is that like your energy? Is this the thing for the game where it's like you can only play for a certain amount of time because you need to spend energy in the uh, typical way of mobile games? Or am I just not looking at that resource right? Anyway, I have 120 of it. I'm maxed. Hi, guys. How are you? Here's my spell. What do you think about it? It's pretty good, huh? I like it a lot. All right. Um, I'm just going to go on my map toward where I think this is. Let me double check. Yeah, it's right over here. So I'm just going to head straight from this point. Here's some baddies. How's it going? Oh, boy. It's going really, really well, isn't it? Elemental reactions. Let's check it out. Vaporize. Well, I already got that one, but appreciate it. Maybe I didn't get it with this character, so they wanted to tell me about it again. Firm arrowhead. Well, it's better than a squishy arrowhead. Um, let me push R3 to pick up the firm arrowhead. Let's open up the chest, and we got... Experience, Traveling Doctor, Silver Lotus. Ooh, looks like I have now two pieces of that set. What is this rock? You hit it and it does water damage, apparently. It's like an explosive thing, I guess. Um, yeah, get all this stuff. All right. Let me go over here. And flip to characters. I'm just going to keep on trying to level up um, Amber. Level you up. Oh, I don't have any more money. I'm out of cash. I spent all my cash. Okay. Um, cancel. Let me go back to my other dude and go to artifacts. And now, yep. Let's give you this flower artifact. Oops. Oops. Confirm. Oh, I got two, actually. Oh, this is the Adventurer's Flower. Well, we definitely have to equip this because it gives him a thousand extra hit points, um, which is ridiculous. And then um, I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to you and you get your first artifact, Amber. Congrats. You can have... Um, this traveling Dr. Silver Lotus, and it'll give you a bunch of hit points as well. I'm actually going to go back then and just take away an artifact from you, my man, because um, it's actually better if she gets the set bonus from it. So let's just go ahead and equip this oops with you, and then now you get the set bonus just to make you heal more and give you some defense. And balance the party out a bit. I don't know. I mean, it seems like you probably want to be... Ooh, there's a homunculus. Yes, hiding in the trees. You got to keep your eyes peeled for these things. Got it. 
it seems like you probably want to be switching around your characters based on when their super moves are powered up and the elemental weaknesses of the enemies. I'm not really doing that right now. It's so early. I'm not too concerned. But I tell you what I am concerned about is leveling up this statue. Hey, there's a person standing over there by the tree. I should go talk to them. All right, let's get to this statue, and let's talk to it and be like, hey, dude, what's up? It's actually a lady, um, but, you know, dude is... We can use du dude as a uh, non-gendered approach. All right. At least I hope you can. I don't know. All right, let's see if... Uh, offer it, and we level it up. And we get now 114 max stamina. Boom. Now we need four to level it up. But, man, we got a lot of stuff. Sweet. All right, everybody. Well, now we're adventure rank four. We got a much more primo gems. We got animo sigils. And feeling groovy. I think this is a good place to stop the episode. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, playing it with the controller has made the game even better, and I'm loving this game so far. It is just very pleasant, and I can't wait to see what emerges. I hope you all have an excellent evening or day, and I'll check you in the next episode. Take care.